Y'all knew it was coming. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. I know this is not a mystery. Anybody that's been following my channel, y'all already know who I'm about to rank up. I have been waiting for this guy for a long time. They've been giving me enough resources to take him up. But we're about to reveal it. So if you think you can guess, which is no guess, leave a comment. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, my boy, Warlock. Sorry if you got it spoiled, if you didn't watch my last crystal opening, that opening was fire. Not only did I get Warlock, but I got a couple of other really good champions. So you might wanna check it out. I think I got a total of uh, five or six new six star champions. So my roster grew very nicely. Um, but as for Warlock, I think no one needs to know why I took him up. He is a beast. I mean, of the techs, uh, I think he is uh, my favorite. Uh, Ghost, also up there. Uh, I don't know who I like more. You can see I had a tech one to two gem. I scrolled up so you guys could see that, yes, you do still need, you know, the T2 alphas and all that. But... I use that tech one to two gem. I have been waiting for a long time. I kept that gem just for him. And they kept giving me tech resources left and right. And I was getting salty. I've taken Ultron up to rank three and still I had tons of tech resources. They just kept giving them to me. Now, it takes a lot of ISO to take up, you know, a six star from rank one to rank three. Fortunately, I have a lot of tech ISO because they kept giving me tech champions and tech this and that. So I was overflowing with tech resources and I just waited, waited. I could have used the uh, one to two gem on Ultron, but I said, no, I had a lot in my overflow. Just look at that. That uh, T5, I had gotten two of them. One I used on Ultron, and now I'm using the final one on Warlock. And I waited. I kept that just for Warlock. Nobody else was getting that uh, T5 uh, class catalyst there. All right. Now, Warlock has a lot going for him first of all i run suicides which means the champions that i tend to play the most have immunities or a way to deal with the bleed and the poison from my suicides warlock is immune to both so he already got up there he can put a bleed on the opponent with a heavy attack i run deep wounds mainly because i also use nick fury but it helps Warlock as well. So that bleed lasts a long time and it's pretty nasty. Um, he can also passively heal block. So there are champions like uh, in Act, um, I think it was uh, not Act, but Variant. One of the variants, we had to fight Kang and there weren't that many champions that could stop that heal. You know, normal heal blocks would not work. But because Warlock passively heal blocks, he was one of the few that could stop that regen. So he's great, okay? Passive heal block, he can put a bleed, he's immune to bleed and poison, and he does some pretty decent damage. He also has um, power drain. He can power drain them on his special three. He power drains them uh, with enough infections on his special one. I mean, he's just got so much utility. He is awesome. So it was a no brainer. And I think everybody that watched my opening and saw me pull him already knew he was going to rank three ASAP. Uh, the only reason that I didn't get this video out sooner is because I wasn't really feeling that well. 
uh, and I just went and laid down. But I'm feeling a little bit better right now. Just finished eating. And I knew that uh, maintenance is going to be uh, in a couple of hours from now. Uh, so I will give you guys a little bit of gameplay. We'll do something a little different. We're not going to go into uh, Realm of Legends. All right. Let's take our newly ranked up Warlock into the wild. We're going to go into Cavalier difficulty and we're doing the tech quest. Now, let me show you the synergies I have active for him. So we've got this synergy. Whenever any teammate would receive a debuff they're immune to, they gain a fury. Um, we've got this one here. Whenever the opponent would gain one or more virus charges, 50% chance for them to gain an additional charge. So just makes it a little bit faster. And here, their special attacks do more damage. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going in here with. So let's go ahead in. And we'll see what we can do. Let's uh, do this path here. And let me show you the node that we're dealing with here. Uh, it's made for Warlock. He's like perfect for this uh, chapter. All right, whenever a tech attacker inflicts the defender with an armor break, the defender is also inflicted with a passive heal block. Now, Warlock doesn't need that, even though he does have a uh, armor break on his uh, special two. But he doesn't need this because he can passively heal block them by getting the infections on them. All right. Um, so he's going to be gaining furies when they try to heal. And he has them heal blocked. He'll start gaining furies and hitting harder. OK, so that's pretty much what we want to do so let's start with the first fight so I want to parry parry get uh, these charges up all right now he's infected so as soon as he tries to heal you'll see me starting to gain fury see that fury I just gained right there look at that look at my fury's going up every time they try to heal and they're heal blocked, I gain fury. Look at that, just that fast, I'm at 10. Special two, and he's done. Now, my warlock right now is not awakened. I actually have an awakening gem that I can use, but I'm gonna wait until there's like a tech advancement or something like that. And then I'll probably use that on him. All right, same thing. We're going to parry our way. We get four every time we get a good parry. So it just goes faster. There we go. Now he's infected. He tries to heal, and we have all those furies. And he's still trying to heal, so I'm just gaining furies like crazy. Now, I'm power draining him, and if he was awakened, I'd be doing more damage. Every time I power drain, he would be taking a burst of damage. So, I do want him awakened. And, uh, you know, decent sig. Now, for this fight here, he can do this fight, but I'm wary of the new bishop. So, I'm going to go in with Ultron. That's why I brought him. Uh, I didn't want to even play around. So I probably could have done just fine with Warlock. But I know my Ultron can definitely do it. Okay, there we go. Heal blocked. Gaining them Furies. And you can only heal block with Ultron when you have one of the synergy partners. That's why I have um, Hulkbuster on the team. He's one of the synergy partners that can do that. All right, let's keep going here. I'm also getting some uh, Cavalier exploration done. May as well. We got maintenance uh, in a couple of hours. 
I wanted to get this done. Uh, I would have had this done earlier, but I brought uh, Warlock to war, so I couldn't make this video. He was stuck in war. But you guys will see that, and you'll see more of him, because I will be taking him to war. And I'd like to have him awaken before I do that, too. Would have made a very big difference, I think. As you can see, Warlock is just crushing it. Now, the five-star crushes it as well. And my five-star is awakened. But once I get this guy awakened, and I can dump like 40 sigs into him, uh, he's going to rock. He's going to rock. All right, let's do it again. I do hate fighting Mysterio. Him and his heavy attack spam. Come on. Okay. Now we can gain those Furies. Start doing some good damage. Max is 10. There we go. Hit him with that. And he's done. And I'm back at full health. Now, I am running suicides. So the damage is uh, inflated. But uh, I run suicides all the time anyway. And since he's uh, immune to both the uh, bleed and the poison. Perfect. Speaking of immune to the poisons. This should be interesting because of one of the synergies I have. He tries to put a poison on me. As you can see, I gained that fury. Didn't last very long, but I did gain a fury. Okay, come on. And I want to parry as much as I can. There we go. Now he's already at 10. You can see that extra fury there because he tried to put a poison on me. And I have that synergy, so anytime that happens, gain a, a short fury. And I waited. When I had that fury, that's when I hit him with the uh, special two. All right, so that's that path done. And now we've got this guy, who I do not like. He is really annoying. And I'm going to try to do it. Let's see. Disorient. Okay, yeah. I'm going to try and do it with Warlock. But chances are I'll have to finish the fight up with somebody else. But we're going to try. Come on. I saw that falter on me in time. Okay, doing some good damage to him anyway. But he's probably the most annoying one boss to fight here. Come on. Unblockable. Unblockable in every way. I'm doing much better than I did the first time I fought this guy. I'll tell you that. And see, I'd be doing more damage if he were awakened. 
Ah, uh, I thought I was still unblockable. Now he's unblockable, so I'm trying to wait that out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let him win it again. One more. And done. Got the solo with Warlock. All right. It worked out better than I was uh, afraid it was going to. The first time I fought that guy, it was not so fun. But anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this showcase of Warlock. He's got a lot of utility. And uh, like I said, I am going to awaken him so that uh, I can get that extra damage when I do uh, power drain or anything like that. Um, but I love him. He definitely was my most wanted six star right now. Now, of course, I'm going to have to get some new most wanted, but I wanted him bad. And it was no surprise, I think, to anybody that I took him up to rank three. Uh, on my live stream today, people were asking, did you rank three him yet? Did you rank three him yet? So, yeah, they know it's coming. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this video out to you guys tonight. Uh, Tuesday before maintenance. All right, so take care. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.